I have only played with Ancient Imperiosaur in Limited. I haven't, uh, I haven't tested, I haven't jammed any of Spike's Modern Brews or, or anything along those lines. We did brainstorm it a little bit during the uh, the spoiler. Talked about it and talked about things that would go well with it. Kind of like the idea of Reckless Storm Seeker being something that could tap for Convoke and then give it haste. And then a uh, Torch Courier can do something similar. Fierce Hand Path can tutor for the Imperious Sword, and then there's also a, a backup tutor target. One in the main deck, one in the sideboard, hum. I don't know how, how often we're getting to Carnage Tyrant. But that one might be a little ambitious, but it's in there. Love Embercleave? Yeah, me too. What's in here is a one of, because like, we're kind of trying to flood the board for Imperiosaur, and it's like another card that can just steal games with like Chariot or Lovestruck Beast. Like it doesn't need the Imperiosaur thing to, to to win a game. It could be bad, but it is only one slot. A little cheese slot. Pretty easy to cut if it turns out I hate it. Pulled off the Rebirth, Burning Tree Emissary, and Chatterstorm. Yeah, that could be sweet. Something that I like about this is the Empath is going to make sure that I have Imperious Storm more often. And then these other cards, the Storm Seeker and Love Struck Beast, both play really well with Imperious Storm, but can also just win games on their own. So that's the idea here. I also wouldn't mind porting. Um, Aspiring Spike had like an Elves list that's mostly just Pioneer legal pretty easy to port over as well. Anyway, I'll take the stream decker. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Hey, Hot Flames, it's the 46 months there. We indeed. Alright. Let's play a league, why not? Why not? Why wouldn't I? Can we win a match with this fucking dinosaur deck? Yeah, right offhand, way better than playing like a um, dragon fodder or something, right? Those elves that spit out a bunch of tokens. And then you get to have the elf backup plan. And Fierce Empath itself is an elf. build of this. Oh, an Obosh build's a good idea. My, um... My, my, uh, my non-Obosh cards are also, like, my least important cards here. I don't hate that idea. And then you have Obosh with the fucking dinosaur and giving it <laughs> double damage. Giant Trampler. Don't hate that idea. Come to courier your torches. Wall of Roots from Peary, sir. Yeah, Innkeeper is sort of doing, doing that. Sort of the same idea. says 61 months that has to mean something or not yeah <laughs> one of the two for sure
why I didn't play Innkeeper last turn. Because if I play Innkeeper, if I want to do something else, then I have to crack, track, crack my treasure token. Playing both my one drops, let me attack with both my one drops this turn. You see how I have Ancient Fury Sword mana? I don't need rabbit battery. Don't hate it at all. If we try the Obosh list, that's another one drop too. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good start. Do I even want to sideboard anything? Like, I, sh I should be bringing in Hearse versus Phoenix, but it feels like I can get this shit out. I'm mostly worried about like sweepers post board, right? Like I can't really do anything about that. Yeah, if you think about the innkeeper is it's like a you know the the red goblin that's red red for a one one that makes a treasure is this like a slightly easier to cast version of that well, i'm not playing it for life gain and stuff Wily Goblin, yeah, it's just a green Wily Goblin. I almost put actual Wily Goblin in here too. All right, opponent, I am indeed going to trigger your bird. That's well, because I played a lot of Gruulin Pioneer Spell Skittles. When I was testing for that one RC, I played like a shitload of it. Got a lot of good it did me, huh? Possibility storm combo. Oh yeah, that deck was really cool. Not my brew, but I did. Uh, I did make some changes. I did work on it. She left it on top. The chariot. cards in the end. Like 
Siege Rhino plus Glorybringer. I mean, that deck was fucking sexy. I think they're dead, huh? <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. Italian creativity is fun. I believe it. The issue is like cascading into your own creativity. Maybe it's not a real issue. Trap over their opponent. I guess I can do some jumping. This kind of fucking rules. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, take eight. Yeah, Torch Courier was a. Um, um, during uh, during the. Um, during my set review, we brainstormed a lot of different ways of getting haste. And I can't remember if we mentioned Tor Torch Courier or not. I can't remember if it came up. But I did see it in Aspiring Spikes list. And I was like, oh yeah, that card makes sense. And Storm Seeker was another one that we brainstormed. So far, these cards, the Embercleave and the Kugla, feel very unnecessary. <laughs> Imperious Sword doesn't really need double strike. Kind of this huge already. You think the Chariot's justified not running Obosh? Yeah. I mean, if you don't have Chariots, you've got something else, though. And you could be, like, putting an Obosh in your hand. I did like the Rabbit Battery idea. But you're not wrong. I think this chariot's pretty great. So if we're doing Obosh, we would cut innkeepers, we cut chariots, we cut these. What would we play over chariot? Like Fable, maybe? Fable can also be multiple bodies, be kind of good at grinding. Season Pyromancer's not in Pioneer, right? That's funny, Argy Puff. I like that. That's a good point, Bunny. Ironic that you're arguing against Rabbit Battery. Is Embercleave kind of a fifth dino? That was the idea. It's a way to win even if we don't have access to Imperious Sword, right? Embercleaving a Love Struck Beast or whatever. But the deck might not need something like that. Anyway, so far we've only played one match, so we don't really have conclusions or whatever. I like how half of this hand looks like a reasonable 
<laughs> like stock pioneer deck. The other half is like, what the fuck? Dex just good? Yeah. <laughs> Only good cards. Just run on, their, run on the mill. Worth running on their own merits. Good cards. Rumble to five over there. Wonder what's going on. Yeah, Stormseeker's not quite a Ravel, Ravel Master type dude. It's not like a pile of tokens. But it does generate haste. Which is pretty important for what we're doing. next turn. Maybe even Innkeeper into it. Jack thinks of the thinks of the Savaruski, huh? Me and my opponent are both only playing one drops, but those are so much larger than mine. It's not fair. Essentially, eight of them. With the three mana tutor. I'm only a man away from casting this. We could also discard it. Blow up the Mox Amber and draw a card. I don't hate drawing a card. But I also don't hate just like playing the Storm Secret and waiting a turn. See if we get a land for this or not. Come down and like fight something. Could be important.
Emmercleave would have been a little bit more exciting than this, than this Kugla in utero. I can see that offhand MDG. There's exactly one in here currently, Braymond. Now what? If I'm them, I think I like untapping the initiate, making it indestructible. Sixth land. There's a knock against the layer of the Hydra Hum. Kill everything but the need of all Tom. Is it the two grow? This is nothing here, right? Quick artifact and enchantment check. You have old man Kinzer. Thanks for 48 months. Thanks for, thanks for the prime. Thanks for the long term support. is a great format. I don't know why I was getting grumpy yesterday. I don't think I was that grumpy, but there were a few, like, kind of innocuous questions that got me... <laughs> got me bothered. I think it was just, like, the timing of it. Mm, I think I'm just, like, less patient when I'm getting my shit kicked in. Which is probably pretty human and normal, but... It's been streaming long enough. I think it'd be fine. <laughs> it's part of the job. The new Proto Man track does fuck, yeah. Um, Act 3 coming out this year. Pretty exciting stuff.
Act 2 is up there for me too, Dumpling. One of my uh, favorite vinyls. Sack courier to give it a haste here. Just make sure the Gideon gets cleared. It's probably just worth actually. The Beautiful could eat it if it wants to. Images, huh? What do you mean? Oh, because because I ended up using a treasure anyway. Yeah, originally I wasn't going to use a treasure, and then I decided to attack with the land of elves. But you're right; I didn't have to didn't have to pay a life. Price of changing your mind, mid mid cost, mid paying. It's not like it gets pretty big, right? For this layer, there's a four four. Back this turn because a 3 3 breaking 4 damage seems relevant. But if I serve for 3, maybe at 9, then we'll be wrapping lethal next turn. And that's better still. Well, it feels like they want me to do this. Out. They're hell right? There's too many rending volleys. Play mono green with new cards. What new cards do you want me to play with? Kind of in the middle of something here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do that, Gabdols. Probably want all four of these on the drum. I'm also kind of an odd person to ask for that. <laughs> I don't think I have hardly any experience playing mono green. Certainly not the, the new versions where you're doing like infinite loops and stuff. You'd be watching me go through a learning curve.
we got a plan here. We kept the removal spell, but we killed Kytheon before they untapped. Being hazy dinos, that's the idea. Nice land. What up? Hey, make patches in the 32 months. All the prime. Aw, yeah. I imagine they have something planned for this mana, right? The Muni Ball would have served. Or, no, the Muni Ball had summoning sickness. Amazing, Matt Man. Yeah, we made a 2020 versus um, versus Phoenix. It was kind of cool. They like tapped out for a treasure cruise and was like, all right. <laughs> they didn't actually die either. They um they they didn't die that turn. They had um two huge blockers back. Hmm. Well, this is looking rough for us, huh? Made it 2020 with Damping Sphere. Amazing. Was he doing that in uh, Pioneer? Elves build? Yeah, I was thinking about elves. Pioneer Elf, Imperious Orn is another intuitive home. For sure. Cracking the glue token. And now I think we, uh, I think we die. <laughs> I'm just activating scrub on the end line twice. Well, it seems like that beats me.
Okay, not dead. I wonder if I should have rested on the Rending Volley, and then uh, if they um, tried to make it unblockable, and then I could Rending Ball the Adeline. But I'm only at six. Them just activating on the Muta Ball kills me in fucking three turns. And then, like, they might just play a fucking Thalia <laughs> and destroy that line. Considering whether to serve with both Muta Vaults or just activate the recruitment. Looks like they're going for the recruitment. Flood the board a little bit here. So it's pretty good, huh? Just infinite volume in a one drop. Thalia's Lieutenant and activate again, or they could activate the Muta Vaults and then play Thalia's Lieutenant, or they could activate and go looking for something else. <laughs> yeah, an Anonymous. Rough beats. I've got a, uh, um, a Twitter thread selling a bunch of secret layers and shit, so that's what I'm responding to right now. I'm not trying to ignore y'all. Talking shit in the middle of my stream. Hedology's scooping up some. She's got good taste. Oh, you messaged me on the Discord? Okay. Hmm. I don't think I'm supposed to crew chariot.
I could. I could have Chariot eat Mutavolt. Lovestruck eat Recruitment Officer. Lovestruck trade with Adeline, and then I take four and go to two. Instead of Cat, trade with Recruitment. Cat eat Token. Trade, eat. supposed to serve with Chariot and make another token. Oh shit, what up? Hey Casper OV, thanks for the sod, thanks for the 68 months. tank um yeah maybe just trying to get something open casper sharing the prime a lot of sick prime subs today 68 months is so close so close to the drug number Yeah, man, man. I know what you meant. Obviously, my attack was not to break stuff up. It, I was building my board with it. They're probably better off just chilling and activating Recruitment Officer a bunch. Like, rather than play the Lieutenant last turn. Sorry, I we make the lair or not. If I can make another cat token, seems worth. being clue tokens instead of just making cats chariot is doing work yeah yeah bunny earlier was saying that chariot's a real good reason to not be doing obash stuff and um and it certainly held up um
So we tap three for this Imperious Sword, the 1212. Might just not matter if I go to one. And then we're just going to pass. And a removal spell does not kill me here because I can crew the chariot in response. And then I would just take one and go to one. Howdy, howdy, sub strategist. We have lethal here, or at least like force them to block with the Adeline. Just think about activating Lair and having that crew the Chariot. And then the Chariot and the two cat tokens serve in. And then I think Lieutenant has to block Chariot, and Adeline has to block the Ancient, and they just have nothing. I win! I win the match! <laughs> We're fucking 2-0 with dinos. That's exciting. Mm. Uh, I sold more shit. A colossal dread mob. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is like a six mana ten ten or something. We had it at, uh, be a free twenty twenty earlier um, that we then gave haste with torch courier, and that was pretty sweet. 
more elves than dinos. Yeah, but the elves are tutoring the dinos. Calling this deck red green elves would be a little mis misleading, right? They chose death instead of jumping. They might have been dead anyway. I didn't actually do the math. I was just doing the math to force them to block. To make sure that the attack was safe. Gigantha Dark Slick. Elves riding dinos, you know it. Oh man. <laughs> Someone else messaged me in the Discord, but I accidentally like misclicked trying to hit their fucking message and it deleted it. <laughs> so I, don't, I have no idea who the hell was trying to get hold of me. Oh well. Ooh. It's a two turn play. Just new form, what the opponent's doing? Oh, I think you're probably right, yeah. Yeah, they, they stack a Delve creature and go get the 7-7 seven, seven lifelink. Oh shit, what up? Skill issue for them. Yeah, right? <laughs> it said, said to DM me on Twitter. I don't know. I don't feel too bad if non-Twitter messages get lost. Hey, yeah, Tech thinks the two months. Thinks the prime. You're trying to reach me about my car's extended warranty? Nice. I think it's Rona combo. Not the Neoform deck. What's Rona doing? Guess we'll find out. Song do slap, you're not wrong. When we are together, there isn't anywhere that I would rather be. Three birds of a feather. I just hope you enjoy our company. It's been some time and though Cool dinosaur deck, Caleb. <laughs> Of retraction helix. Until end of turn, target creature gains tap. Return target non land permanent to its owner's hand. Oh, does it untap from legends or something? Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Seem like Besiege really matters against them. Oh, I guess I could kill the Mox in response to it getting bounced. I win! I'm the winner! Go me! 
Man, we've got some... So the, the danger here is overboarding, right? With her stone brain and rending volley all options. I feel like I just want rending volley. Stonebrain's not a thing I want, right? They're not that all in on the combo. Hey, Morosit, thinks the sob thinks the 39 months. Something like this, maybe. And a bunch of cantrips and looters, they seem pretty all in. They have like secondary win cons. Does anyone have a deck deck list? You think Stone Brain on retraction healings puts them without a win? That seems pretty fucking good. <laughs> that seems like a good thing to do. Oh, thanks, Tarmo Gal. I guess, like, there's Gigantha Beats. Alright, I'm gonna play Stone Brains and not Hearses. Rona can flip, shame. No, I've been pushed. Well, I mean, stripping, stripping Rona is better than right than than retraction heal, retraction helix. Oh shit! What up? Oh shit! What up? Hey, iPhone. These the sub. These the fourteen months. Because hitting Ro R Rona hits the whole combo. They have a Canker Bloom. Two excavators to attack with. And Gigantha. And other than that, there's Jace Varin's Prodigy Alt. Seems very hard for them. A, a single Gigantha.
We got a backup. A Bellafont song. No, my chariot. Cool sleeping pill. What's the song about? That's Beetlejuice. You bet I can't name five things that aren't Jackie Chan. Oh, pfft. I got this easy. Fucking. Um, uh, banana, banana song. Um, empty Mountain Dew can. Uh, phone. Um, Jackie Chan. Damn it! Oh, fuck. So if I activate Lair, three. I'll only have six. Oops. It is a great Beetlejuice moment for sure. I remember that Garth Meister. Hmm. Literally just play a six six if I wanted. Or I could attack Tyvar. <laughs> this game. I think there's a chance I lose to the Gigantha. Well, they call me Dr. Dean. I guess our Hydra lands are the same size currently as Gigantha. Dr. Dean, and I know about the Aztecs 
It's not the same format as Cap Maple Syrup. If I'm gonna play an Explorer deck, I'm just gonna play Pioneer. It's a more relevant format. It's just better. One of these formats is like played played competitively with real tournaments. The other one is like a light version of that format, missing a lot of important cards. This is pretty straightforward. Playing a um, a Rona combo deck, so they target Rona with Retraction Helix, and then they play a Mox Amber. That untaps the Rona, and then the Rona bounces Mox Amber. They get infinite mana that way. But uh, we stripped all of their Ronas with Stone Brain earlier, so we have this game <laughs> where they've been killing my stuff and. Not comboing me. Yeah, I was worried about not replaying the Imperial Sword and getting thought seized. What's the wind comb with all the mana? I don't know. <laughs> Flipping Rona. <laughs> I'm putting up the good fight. Yeah, I mean, they're play basically playing a bug control deck right now with a few dead cards, right? And the Mox Ambers and the Diligent Excavators aren't great. But it's not like Jace Friend's Prodigy is an embarrassing control card. I do have a few creatures that could attack. I go, I uh, yes, I, Ian. I live 15 minutes away from the venue, from the um, Cube Gun venue, and it's being put on by my friends, and I won last year, so I'll be, I've got a, a trophy to defend. A lot of reasons, a lot of reasons I'll be in that. Come. You're allowed to come. It's a convention.
The Tyvar being able to down tank and rebuy chumpers is kind of annoying. Looks like they're playing towards the uh, the J salt. Oh fuck! I missed the proliferate. I think I lose. Well, yeah, right. They just get to emblem now. <laughs> I'm actually gonna lose this fucking game because I missed the proliferate on Kanker Bloom. I mean, this turn I couldn't have done much. I guess I could have played Storm Seeker. And like done a suicide attack on Jace. With, like a like lose a lair to the Gigantum. <laughs> That's wild though. With the proliferate on Canker Bloom. Is mattering here. They do still need to play some things to deck me, but that generally isn't that hard, right? Yeah, we extracted the Ronas a while ago. Play the Storm Seeker and have it give itself haste. I don't think it fucking works, right? Because one of the cat tokens is shrank with the Jace. And they block Sad Canker Bloom. I don't, we can't take it off of emblem range. I think they're trying to keep the Jace around post emblem. I can have four attackers, but then we're only getting in one damage. And we're not really progressing the board, right? The Kanker Bloom block sacks. Gigantha eats the Storm Seeker. This one can block a 2x. Or the 1 1. Like their choice. Like, don't lose anything. Is racing a bad idea? It's. It's the same. <laughs> Whether. If I. If I serve with a single layer of the Hydra at the Jace or their face, it doesn't matter. They just block sack with Kanker Bloom.
Oh, she went up. Hey, sub Doom Wayne. Thanks for the 34 months. You've now been subbed to Caleb for longer than you've been alive. That's a long time. Feels mathematically impossible, but I believe you. Yeah, we stone brained uh, the Rona combo deck, so they can't combo me. We're just gonna like lose to a Jace emblem anyway. Is where we're at. That's the plan. <laughs> Current plan: lose to Jace emblem. <laughs> it's not a very good plan. How am I liking the deck? Red green dinos. It's been good so far. We beat uh, Phoenix and then Mono White Humans. Mono White Humans mold the five in the first game. And they seemed like they had a rough time dealing with Eska's chariots and five fives and such. Uh, we won game one just by applying a lot of nice pressure. So if I lose this, I'll we'll go to game three here. Chariot and give it haste. That's kind of sexy. How many Imperial Swords do I have left? One, there's one left. I heard you were doing something similar to this. Like elf stuff. If you've played so much with Dino, just like all the different builds. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I saw Spike get a bunch of bruise too. Now that the Jace is emblem, it's a little annoying because it can uptick and shrink our things, but um, we aren't just trying to kill them now. We are just trying to race the emblem. The Dino is a sick card. You top eight of the challenge on Sunday with a similar list, but no couriers or empaths. None of this thing, sure. They both been kind of fine, but but I can see why. The courier did let me make a uh, 2020 haste versus Phoenix, which was pretty awesome. Because they have the, um, they can put like a red or green permanent on top of your library post board. They have to, like jump off with their whole board. It's fantastic. But yeah, I'm sure you know more about the shit than I do. These cards have been bad so far. I have, actually, they haven't been bad, but I don't know if they're the best for the slot. Like the fourth chariot's probably better. Yeah, shit. This tie bar is representing a few spells here. Because it can down tick and get another Jace. Not what I wanted to see at all. Uh, I believe that does it. Just wins from here. Wait, why'd they bounce Gigantha?
Oh, because the Gigantic can tap for mana, I guess. With the tie bar down. I was expecting them to just bounce the Mox Ambre. Oh, this gave them a... Uh... This is gonna put me down to one card. Am I reading that right? One card in my deck. Very wild game. Down to zero cards. Zero cards? Wow. 3060. Oh. Yeah, the Kugel in Utero is like a backup for your Zenpath target, but there's like pretty much no reason you'd ever want that. I was thinking about the um, that board too, the one that you can channel for plus three plus one and trample. <laughs> also, probably pretty terrible. Our Lord and Savior Imperius, sir. Yeah, we played three that game. My opponent killed three of them. Two with extinction events, one with bounce plus thoughtsies. Innkeeper does let me dino faster, correct? It's sort of like uh, in Historic, the, the two mana goblin that spits out a treasure, just helping you mox this faster. It's a similar idea. I don't know if it's actually good, the Innkeeper. I'm just testing shit. Opponent had like three, four lines to win, and they, they chose none of them, did they? What was the winning line? I thought they were going to down tick to get back a Jace Rin's Prodigy and flip it and get a spell. Bounce through Jace, flip it, and cast a second spell. Oh yeah, that would work for sure. I should have done that. Seeker here. Oh no. Fuck. Yeah, obviously I intended to uh, attack there. The old oh nosies. <laughs>
And then next turn we can make another one off the Fierce Empath, I believe. This would be so much better if I hit them for three last turn, right? <laughs> Just a smidge better. Probably still winning. Now I just need to not click through my attacks again. <laughs> they just take it, they're like, nah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that'd be good, Sebastian. Just rebuying the Tyvar and having the Tyvar untap the... Sure. I did it, I attacked, I did. I didn't screw it up for once. Ooh, we've got another DM. Let me get back to somebody on Twitter here real quick. Sales, bargains. Seems D's, huh? Turn two Storm Seeker. The mana base is nice for a two color aggro deck. Yeah, right? Yeah, typical red green plays like a shitload of Muta Vaults and stuff. But I don't think you want to be doing that if you're playing Imperiosaurus. Because often you're trying to cast things into the Imperius Sword to make it larger. Like on the same turn. I thought about playing like a single Muta Vault. With the idea that sometimes if you have extra mana, you might want to have it activated and have it tap for the Convoke. Around 8 p.m. on a Friday night, the band struts in looking out of sight. By Investing in all those Torch Couriers, paying off. <laughs> One, two, three, step outside for one quick smoke. Back inside for a mad lip joke. Pretty mama at the bar gives a band a wink. She says, hey, boy. I think I'm just recklessing on two, huh? Drink? Scotch and soda. What's your drink? Bourbon and ginger. What's your drink? I think I'm Scotch not recklessing on two. What's your drink? One muffin and what's your drink? Jack and Coke. What's your drink? Oh, oh shit, what's what your up? drink? Oh shit, what up? Hey, Big Street Breakfast. Thanks what's to the Sod, for 20 months. <laughs> Halfway through the second cell, that cocktail buzz, it ain't there yet. But I'm going to blow that up, but it's probably not worth hum. Belly flop and he's dancing around like a chimpanzee. He's got all the pretty ladies in a I wouldn't be surprised if like four fierce empath was wrong, but two or three was right. What's your drink? Scotch and soda. Some games you just really want to period story. What's your drink? The song do slap, you're not wrong. One muffin hell, what's your drink? Jack and Coke. What's your drink? Green demon. This fucker flipped, Tom. Rusty now. What's your drink? Take a rage. That looks like a spell queller turn for the opponent. Maybe not. The 
If you know your shit's resolving, then this play another Storm Seeker is insane because it comes into play on nighttime. Shackle Gas cannot block, correct? What's your drink? Scotch and soda. What's your drink? Bourbon and ginger. What's your drink? Vodka tonic. What's your drink? Oh, and my belly. What's your drink? Jack and Coke. Oh, what's your drink? Oh, green limon. What's your drink? Rusty nail. What's your drink? A tank of rain. Better put them all. It looks like it, right? They only have two cards in hand. This Coco could get him back into it. <laughs> Been there, my friend. I've cast so many Cocos. I have cast... I don't know. I've cast a lot of Cocos, and I've cast a lot of Cocos in Bant Spirits. And I rem <laughs> I've seen some bad ones. I feel like when you Coco and you hit nothing but, like, a Noble Hierarch, it feels worse than if you Cocoed and completely whiffed. <laughs> Oh, man. That card's so insane. It can, like, dig you out of these situations that no other card could. And then it can also just be like, <laughs> look at this nothing. Anyway. Hey, 4060. Edo. <laughs> I can math. I can math. Finals. This is for the trophy. Deal. Fucking deal. Should have been a keeper here. Would Caleb put Coco in powered cube? Uh, it depends on the cube. It depends on your hit for the Coco. I'm probably gonna be building a powered cube soon. Layer pass, huh? simply because we won the die roll. There's Mono Green Devotion here. And Imperiosaur would really lock things up, wouldn't it? One more damage if I use the treasure for the Lanor Elves. Well, anyway.
Can they win? They've got a good setup, huh? Pretty close and a shitload of devotion. Maybe crewing the chariot was wrong. Maybe crewing the chariot and let them block to live it too, right? Yeah, I think it was bad in hindsight. The crew. Because you're investing four power to the chariot. And that spread out, then they would have taken exactly there. And then we just simply wouldn't have played this land or elves, and the Torch Courier would have had haste. Yeah, I think we had Xaxes if we don't crew. But we win anyway! Yay! I'm just getting lucky over here, Dabu. We just have some draws lining up well against the opponent's draws. I don't think we change anything in this matchup, right? We're all a little pre-boarded, ideally. <laughs> it's got Imperiosaurum. Innkeeper has three power. Innkeeper has one power normally. Storm seeking it makes it two. Yeah, I definitely feel like we lose that if we were on the draw that game. Stormseeker was not flipped, correct? This hand is that Imperiosaur that I want, but the rest seems way too slow, right? God, I really don't want to mulligan this. A fucking elf off the top in this hand is insane. But you could also just like one drop, two drop, and this hand's great too. Much better, hum. Consider putting Mega Beast too. me not forgetting my attack step. So Fierce Empath does not get me to 7 next turn. It gets me to 5. I wonder if I should have Love Struck Beast last turn. I guess this is better if I naturally drew the Imperiosaur. I feel like I'm letting them untap, for, untap with too much mana here. All the mana. I do only have two in hand. Although they don't have Storm. Cavalier's pretty good. Digs for Storm. The Cure can untap the Nykthos too. I 
think I'm just supposed to Imperial Sword serve at them. Actually, that's bad, isn't it? Chariot and then tap all for Imperial Sword. I think they kill me on the crackback. Oh no, they don't have the creature land that's a besiege you. Well, that's fine then. Track is by animals as leaders. The track is called Cascade. S with a dollar sign. I mean, Mono Green Devotion could beat this. We'll see. We'll see what they do here. them to whiff. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how likely that is when they've got Cura drawing them cards and such. I think they win from here, right? Light Chain Veil gives them infinite mana and Planeswalker activations. It's a win unless their sideboard is weird. I think I'm just going to trust that it's a win. I thought about adding some threatens to the sideboard for like this matchup specifically. Looks like another mold of me, hum. Okay, here we go. This is good. Where am I binning? Am I binning Innkeeper? I don't want to bin any of this. Innkeeper might have been better than the second elf, actually. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Hey, Maximus Prime thinks the 46 months, and Zenthelm thinks the 32 months. Zenthelm says, never watched a magic stream before today, but thanks for being so great for the first time out. Yeah. It's not unusual for a 32-month sub to be watching the stream for the first time, but I'm glad I'm glad you're enjoying it, and I'm glad that you found this to be your cup of tea. So we can lane our elves and use Reckless to give it haste, and then play Fierce Empath. If I'd played the Carprusian Forest on turn one instead of the Pathway, then I could have played the Lair on turn two, and I could have the Lanor Elves down here. Just saying. Kind of counterintuitive. That's something to think about going forward.
stay home, just crowd and cut smear your guns go. So slightly smaller than our last one, but we're on the play this game. They got the hookers turning tricks in the cold. And every time the police kicks in the dough, an angel gas breaks dips in the O. And even if a D boy flips in my O, it ain't enough to buy shit anymore. Sleep in the doorway, piss on the flow. Look in the sky, wait for missiles to show. It's been a blow, cause they got the TV, we got the truth. They own the judges, and we got the proof. We got hella people, they got hella cops. I wonder if champ jumping with, with elves is better. They just lost three devotion. Nice. That's the Tenno. That's the, the 5 0 Tenno. We didn't drop a game. We didn't drop a game, folks. It's just that easy. So we played Kugla one game, but we didn't tutor for it with Fierce Empath. We just like drew it and it was fine against Mono White. And we never drew Ember Cleave. I don't know if we wanted Ember Cleave. I think I said that I'd prefer it the turn that I, the game that I drew the Kugla. Definitely feel like we want the fourth chariot in there. Oh, right. I did lose a game. You're right. You're right. I did drop one. I'm a big filthy liar. We lost one in the final match there. Chat keeping me honest. Caleb, we, 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 lost. we, we saw you lose one. What are you doing? Let's rewrite, rewrite history. Yeah. This isn't the card I want in my sideboard, is it? It's kind of sweet. I honestly don't think I want this card in Tyrant either. It's pretty garbo. It'll probably just be two runs or something. And then I think I cut this cleave as much as I like cleave. And then I don't know what I'm adding. Be a one of rabbit battery. Even sleeker. I like the stone brains. Didn't really care for any of this stuff. And I think two or three rending volley might be better than four. It's hard to bring in four removal spells in this deck. Especially now that we cut the chaff. <laughs> There's fewer dead cards. Hey, lucrative live. These eight months there. For the history books. 10-0 baby, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, for the history books. We did it! 